we are here to talk about the pecking order theory. So, the pecking order theory, which is also known as the pecking order model, simply states that the cost of financing increases with asymmetric information. When it comes to raising finance and business, pecking order theory explains that when assessing whether to use internal funds, debt, or new equity, the ranking is as follows. Companies will first prefer internal financing, then debt, before issuing new equity. This theory was first developed by Donaldson to be modified in 1984 by Stuart C. Myers and Nicholas Madsler on the basis that companies prioritize their financing sources in order to, uh, sorry, in order of easiest to obtain first. They made the theory popular. So as stated, internal financing, then external financing debt, then external financing equity. So, as we go through them, the risk will increase and therefore the cost of finance will increase. If the company does not have sufficient retained earnings, then it will have to raise money through external sources. The cost of debt financing is lower than equity financing, therefore managers prefer it. After a certain point, increasing the leverage and capital structure will be very risky for the company. In such scenarios, the company will have to issue new equity shares as a last resort. Finally, a company's choice in finance sends some signals to the market. If a company is able to finance itself internally, it's considered to be a very strong signal. It shows that the company has enough reserve to take care of funding needs. If a company issues debt, it shows that the management is confident to meet fixed payments. But if a company finances itself with, uh, with new stock, then it's a negative signal. The company generally issues new stock when it's perceived the stock to be overvalued. And that's about it on the pecking order theory. Thank you very much for listening.